is tough work and I never seem to get any points or a high score. Oh, Zanzibara, that's because you're gardening hard, not having gardening fun. What game is that you're playing on your iOS device, Charlene? Be it iPod Touch, iPhone or iPad? This is the vegetable patch. It's a great way to grow imaginary vegetables and get a really high score. That sounds great, but how does it work? I'll show you. These are all my seeds. I've only got three types right now, but I can get up to eight kinds. Well, they're not tomatoes, potatoes and cabbages. They're tomatoes, potatoes and kebabages. These are such imaginary veg. To plant a seed, I just drag it into one of my seed patches. I can have up to nine plants growing at once, you see. That's so much easier than all the ploughing and irrigating I've been doing. But it's not doing anything. How do you make it grow? Simple. Just tap the next day button. Each time you do, you will see your plants grow. So the vegetable hatch makes it easy to plant and grow imaginary vegetables. But what about that high school? There's so many ways to get points in the vegetable patch. Part of the fun is exploring the game and finding there's always something more you can do to boost your score. You see this chap in the corner? He'll give you points for each plant you pick with ripe vegetables on them, like this. Oh yes. The more impressive the vegetable, the more points he'll give you. And what makes plants more impressive? Oh, how rare the plant is, how much you fertilise the seed patch you grew it in, all kinds of things. So your high score is the total amount you've impressed the allotment manager? Even better than that, your total score is how much you've impressed him multiplied by the number of veg you grew. So tell me about these rare vegetables. We said there are eight different kinds of seeds to find. Yes, to fill in the rest of your seed slots you will need to cross-pollinate your plants. That sounds complicated. Not at all, just look. When two plants blossom next to each other, they'll exchange pollen. If they're compatible, then one of the plants will magically change into something new. And how do you get their seeds for your seed tray? Simply pick them before they're ripe. See? Now I have a carotini seed. So I should experiment with seeing which plants can cross-pollinate each other? Yes, that's the spirit. And don't just experiment with that. Try all kinds of things to get more points. Planting lines of all of the same vegetable, letting plants mulch down instead of picking them, and even altering the time itself with certain vegetables. The fun is in exploring all the ways to become a better gardener. Well, that sounds amazing, but I just don't think I have time. Oh, Zanzibara, it only takes a few minutes to play through an entire session of the vegetable patch. It's just right for when you're waiting for the bus, boiling a kettle, or even doing a poo.